pull the lights on. It's meant to be my my suit for the moon. I couldn't find one, so this is it. <laughs> now, I know we've hit golf balls that have been that wide they have fallen off of Earth. I've been there many times. But there are many golf clubs that have actually been hit off of the Earth's surface on a different, well not planet, on a different satellite. Hmm? Any ideas? Of course, the natural satellite made of cheese. Which can only mean one thing. It's time for a retro review. Oh yes! Now you veterans of retro reviews will know that I like to scour the internet, even local tips, to find clubs that have been very important parts of our history. But absolutely nothing, and I mean nothing, beats today's. Because yes, this golf club went to the moon. Because with Alan Shepard and Apollo 14, a golf club was hit off of the moon's surface. And it did happen to be a Wilson Staff Diner Power. So yes, watched by millions of people, Alan took his very unique DIY telescopic, what, what he called the moon club, um, had the head of the Diner Power and uh, hit two shots in front of millions of people watching all over the world. I wonder if his first shot was actually a shank because I can't find the details, apparently it wasn't great. And he jokingly said the second one went miles, but obviously it didn't. Miles and miles and miles! But a very, very cool story nonetheless, and it made me want to get this straight away online. There are many of these available. Um, this is actually in very, very good condition considering how old it actually is. And of all the irons to choose from, of course, I had to inflict pain on myself and choose a two iron. Now, I could have got the six iron, which was the actual head used on the ball of cheese. But for entertainment value, two iron or a six iron? I think we know the answer to that, don't we? So usually, <laughs> we just go straight into, you know, a nice little par three challenge or something like that on a retro review, but I do need to warm up with this. I need to see what I've got to deal with here. Um, from a dress, pretty frightening, I'm not gonna lie. It's a golf club equivalent of the conjuring. <laughs> this grip is jumbo and it's useless. Please, ambulance may be on standby again. Who knows? First shot. Um, that wasn't so bad. I closed my eyes, crossed my toes at impact. So what we got here, two iron, Wilson Staff Diner Power. We've got that fluid feel, bore through as well. I don't know why I smelt it. Um, shaft, yep, there is one. Grip, there isn't one. Nothing, slippy as they come. Oh, that feels mint out the center. <laughs> like, really good. Look at this, 225, all right then. Just a couple more and then we'll get cracking, just to be on the safe side, I don't want to lose fingers. Mm, that was a bit firmer, still nice. This is really not as scary as what I thought. So we know this iron's late 60s, we'll have obviously late 60s themes of course. However, I wanted to base this video around the Apollo 11 moon landing, the first man to walk on the moon, of course, Neil Armstrong. July 20, 1969, at 17 minutes past eight was the time the lunar module landed on the moon. They were in the lunar module for pushing seven hours before Neil actually took the first step on the moon. I don't know what they were doing in that time. Obviously, you don't know what's out there, do you? No one's been there before. So, fair, fair play on the cautious side of things. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Two hundred and twenty-four yards. Point system is active. Square green. I don't know if this is going to make it. Um, square created green. Five shots. What can we do? Oh, a bit heavy. Yeah, this is too much club. <laughs> that was heavy. I might have to go come in with a bit of a fade. Oh, extra points though. 
style point. There you are. <laughs> Did you know it took Apollo 11 just four days to reach the moon and they're on the moon's surface for almost 22 hours? I'm not gonna hit it any better than that. Especially a fade. Wow, this is... Maybe a bit more shape, just to cool it down a bit. Hit it. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I uh, right. We need a shank or something because there's no way those five shots have gone there with a dirty two iron, no grip, 224 yards away. Probably the best stroke. Give you an idea of what we can get out of this 240 club. 241. Next hole. Wow. 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 In the movies, when they stick the American flag on the moon, it looks so easy, it just plucks straight in. But in actual fact, it was very, very difficult. Apparently the surface is so firm, they couldn't just get the flag to stick in. Very hard cheese. You know when you leave cheese out? Very firm, not easy. And consequently, the only flag that's not seen from the moon's surface to this day is the original one from Apollo 11. Orbiter 11 did a little loop around, couldn't see, well, could only see five of the six flags and not the one in the location of the first moon landing. Around 650 million people tuned in to watch it in the late 1960s, a record that was around for 15 years or so until Lady Diana and Prince Charles got married. Priorities, guys. And that probably got smashed by this weekend's Love Island. Pure sh And the number one song in 1969 was Sugar Sugar by The Arches. I don't think I know that one. Of course. How did I not know it was that song? My dad's gonna kill me. Oh dear. Really? Okay, I've got the shot, I just need it a bit softer. Watch this, for all the points. I don't feel like we've got many points on this one. I saw that differently. I did, next hole. So the, the segment is back, is what happened exactly on this day in 1969. It could be something really bad, it could be something quite nice. Three-day Atlantic City Pop Festival opens at the Atlantic City Racecourse in Hamilton Township, New Jersey. 215. Gonna need that shape again. Nearly. Okay, I can hit it a bit harder than that. The bunkers are killers for points. Green, hit it. I'll be very good. What about? So not only has this two iron got a heap load of history, it can also perform extremely well, even still to this day. Some of those two irons were very, very surprising, especially that first bunch. But yes guys, that was the Wilson staff Dyna Power, the club that literally hit a shot on the moon.
not many can say that. That was an absolute pleasure. Guys, thank you as always for sticking with us for a retro review. If you've not seen the previous seasons or even Out of Bounds playlists, I'll put them on the end of the video. Go and check them out. Well worth it. We've got some real random stuff in there. Yeah. Well, yes, guys, thank you as always for watching. If you're not a part of Team Al, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And I'm live streaming on Twitch and also YouTube. Cheers.